the whole truth. And you won't get away with it. Get away with what? What are you talking about? Oh, do stop the innocent act. I've seen that far too many times. It's not an act. I really don't have any idea what you're talking about. Yes, you do. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Now that David Vickers has been exposed as a fraud, you think you're in line to inherit the trust fund. What, me? I said stop it. You've known about it all along, Tina. Which is why you conveniently forgot to come clean when David disappeared. Tell me, what were you planning to do? Were you going to run off with the money and hope no one would notice? I didn't know about this. I wasn't planning anything. Oh, you weren't? Oh, well, now that's wonderful. That's just perfect. Then you won't miss the money, will you? Because believe me, my dear, you are not going to see one cent of that inheritance. I will make sure of that. If you need money... You have to believe me, Vicky. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, Tina. Do you really expect me to believe that you have absolutely no clue that you are next in line to inherit close to $28 million? No. I mean, yes, I, I had no clue. I still, in fact, I can't believe it. Are you sure about this? I'm to inherit that money. Oh, yes, yeah. Well, you were supposed to, or so you thought. Actually, let's put that aside for a moment. Something else I want to talk to you about. What? How could you team up with David Vickers in this? You know, it's one thing for a stranger to try to steal money from somebody, but you, Tina? You are family. You are a lord. And you purposefully tried to deceive your sister. Let's look at what you've been given here, shall we? You have a home, you have money, you have everything you need and anything you want. And you have been forgiven so many times. And this is how you repay that. This is what your family gets in return. Lies and deceptions. No, Vicky, I told you I didn't lie I to you. Said, I said, stop it. We have all put up with far too many of your games. This is where it all ends. Vicky, look. I think it was a mistake to come over here because you're still very upset with me because you're saying a lot of things you just don't mean. But when you calm down, you're going to see things a little more clearly. Why don't we talk soon, okay? I wouldn't count on that if I were you. However, there is one thing you can count on. I am going to make sure that you never get one cent of that inheritance. It'll be very easy, Tina. After all, I have two months. Two months? I have to wait two months? I thought only it would... Well, now that's one more lie out in the open, isn't it, Tina? Vicky, wait. You think just because I seem surprised that I'd have to wait two months for the inheritance, that proves that I knew about the money all along? No, that is not true, because I didn't know Don't about the... Don't dig yourself in any deeper, please. You are as greedy and conniving as you have ever been. The extraordinary thing is that you're not even smart enough to know when you've lost. I've caught you red-handed, and you're still keeping up the pretense. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to get away with anything. And you won't, because you won't get the money. I will see to that, Tina, and it won't be difficult. Not difficult at all. Vicki, let's just be reasonable about this, okay? We're sisters. In We're... name only. As far as I'm concerned, you will never be a part of this family again. Vicky, please, Don't touch I me. Okay, maybe you had a point when you threw me out of the home because I lied to you about David. Maybe. Okay, you did. Now it's wrong. But how could you keep money from me that belonged to me? Our father legitimately meant for me to have that. Do you expect me to be compassionate? You have less intelligence than even I gave you credit for. Okay, fine, forget that. What about the children? How could you throw CJ and Sarah out of their home? To them, Lanfair is their home. They keep asking me when they're going back. They miss it so much. How could you do that? How could you be so cruel to them? I'm not cruel, Tina. You deserve this. If your children are unhappy, you have only yourself to blame. I have no sympathy for you, Tina. I don't understand. So I made a mistake, and I'm sorry for it. 
I'm really sorry. Sorry is nothing. I don't get it. You used to always be able to see the other side of things. You used to have compassion, charity. What happened to you? Why are you being like this? Compassion. Charity. Those traits belong to Victoria. Not to me, Tina. Actually, Todd Manning may prove to be a much bigger problem than Tina. Sporting structure, uh, pretty much restored. So you're nearly finished rebuilding that room? All except the new wall and some painting. Um, and, of course, that soundproofing you wanted. How long will that take? Mm, not long at all. A few days at most. Good. Well, the sooner the better. I'm in quite a hurry. You don't say. The urgency is justified, Mr. Watley. I have something that needs to be moved into that room just as quickly as possible. Please remember, no one must know. It must be done in utmost secrecy. I understand, ma'am. I'll get back to work. Uh, yes, go ahead. It's safe. very busy all day and unfortunately I've neglected a very important errand that I need to take care of now after that I need some time to myself to rest and to think I'm going to spend the night in Tidewater very well mrs. Carpenter if anyone should ask please be sure you explain to them that I won't be back until tomorrow <laughs> 